Hello everybody. We're going to talk about making candles. I did some for holiday presents for my neighbors. I've done them in the past for my family. I think it'd be a good thing to do in school too because it's easy. You can talk about numbers. You can talk about science. You can even talk some like uh, social studies history because different uh, fragrances come from different regions and are, or are prevalent and used in different regions. So I think it's got that mixed to it. Um, you can talk aromatherapy. I think there's lots of conversations you can have with these. Um, some of the equipment you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need a burner. So in the classroom, that could be a hot plate of some kind uh, at home or, or if you got a stove. That works. You need a small saucepan. I was using a two-cup Pyrex measuring cup and a 50-milliliter graduated cylinder. The measuring cup needs to be able to fit in the saucepan. So that's the first important thing. So you don't, want, you don't really want a massive saucepan, but if you have to, you do. Um, but you're just going to have to be boiling more water. But you're not boiling it; you're just raising the temperature of it. Um, and then 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, something to measure out about 50 milliliters. Uh, let's figure out some way for the kids. Kids could figure that out, maybe. I don't know. It's always things. You're going to need t some place to put the candle wax. I decided to make four ounce candles, so I was using four ounce tins, 24 for about $16. So not a bad cost there. So one flaw about this is the, the candles start cost about $4 to make a four ounce candle. It's a combination of the oil and the wax is the essential oil and the wax, which is the price. You need some popsicle sticks. You're gonna need a few to stir the wax as it's melting. And then also when you've got it, uh, when you're adding the oil and then you're going to need pairs of sticks to hold the wicks in place you kind of like make them like tweezers you tape one end of them together five pounds of wax is the what i've been working with so that's about 28 five pounds okay you you know you would think 20 candles but you can really get 21 candles maybe 22 uh depending on how full you fill those four ounce tins you're not going to put it all the way up to four so there's always some play in there um sometimes the packages include wicks so that's nice so you have to buy, do a separate order so look for that and then you need some various essential oils i was buying the four ounce bottles you could probably find larger bottles maybe that would help the cost come down and as you see four ounces about 120 118 milliliters and you need 50 milliliters per what I was doing as a batch. So you get about two and a half batches out of a bottle. So all sorts of numbers I talk here. You take your pan, you put some water in it. You take your Pyrex measuring cup, put it in the pan, put some flakes in it. And turn the heat on. The water does not have to be boiling. You just need it to melt the wax slowly. It melts the wax, you add some more flakes. Melts the wax, you add some more flakes. While it's melting, because it's going to take a little bit of time, you might want to get the wicks set up. As you notice here, I have uh, some that are already done and some that are some that are just setting now. And you see how I have my popsicle sticks holding the wicks. I tape, I take two, tape one end of them together. So now I've got a little uh, pincher to hold them in place. Wicks might move while you pour, so just reposition them. So you melt the wax, so you get about 400, 450 milliliters of melted wax. Take your pick on what you want. I was going about 450. And that with the 50 milliliters of oil will get you four candles, plus a little bit. So when it's completely melted, obviously this one is not completely melted. You add your 50 milliliters of essential oils and keep stirring. Now you can pull it off the heat. You can pull it out of the pan uh, for this and just have it setting on a uh, cutting board or setting on the stove or setting on a good counter. And it cooling down is not a problem. It cooling down might actually be good because heat is what makes the essential oils kind of release. That 50 to 450 is about 11% ratio. And I had read that about that 10 to, 10 to 12 uh, ratio was good for essential oils. 
you might read up and find better numbers or have the kids look up uh, where to go. So you stir it for a little while and then you pour it into the tins. And I, you know, pour it slowly so you don't splash and splurge and you can fill it to exactly where you need to fill it. Because uh, you can't fill it, can't fill it all the way to the top because then you can't get the lids on with the wicks still sticking up. So that's why I can't fill it completely to the top. Now my wicks here are going to have to be all be cut. I haven't cut them down yet. Um, so, and then let let it set, let it let them dry, let them solidify. I've read that a couple days is good for it to um, actually cure. So, and then the kids can work on labeling, label design graphics all sorts of things you can do with a project just making candles which are an awesome thing to do again the, the biggest problem is the cost because each four ounce candle and each of these is a four ounce candle costs about four dollars to make so if you're doing that with you know tw let's do simple math 25 kids there's a hundred dollars worth of materials right there for each of them to get their own candle um you might try um a kid makes two candles and sells one of them for eight dollars, and then can get the other one for free, maybe. That, but then you now now you're messing with money and selling things, which is always a, which is always tricky. Um, so making candles, lots of ways to talk, lots of things you can talk about uh, from a classroom standpoint. I hope you try it and enjoy.